Hello, this is Disappointed Frog, and today we're playing the Wintermore Tactics Club. Now, I actually don't know a lot about this game other than it's a D&D RPG and also about high school. But with all that being said, let's get started. In the history of wars, the most important conflict of all often goes unmentioned. Perhaps it is because it took place entirely within Wintermore Academy, a small north eastern boarding school. Perhaps it's because it happened in 1981, where there was no internet. Or perhaps any tale with the fate of the very world at stake is destined to fade into myth and legend. We can't know for sure. Oh look, Reckless Baking Club! Uh, Bodybuilders Anonymous, Knitting Club. I would so be on the Knitting Club and the Reckless Baking Club. I can't bake to save my life but I think it's very fun. But I know the War of Clubs really did happen because I was there. Wintermore student clubs turned against one another and began to vanish from the earth. Oh no! Oh, no, not the baking club! A great darkness consumed the clubs, growing in power until it threatened to plunge the human realm into chaos. Ooh, fancy. Oh look, and that's what would have happened if not for one hero. This is her tale, a tale of how groups of friends save the world from the w War of Clubs. Oh no. I'm gonna just like fight in a war? <gasps> Look at you! Alicia. Alicia? Alisa. Alicia. I am so- I'm gonna butcher this- this girl's name because I can't read. I'm gonna say it's Alicia. I'm gonna say it's Alicia and then if it's not, someone tell me. <laughs> Dang it, why does this always happen? Tactics Club is in five minutes! I know I left my dice around here somewhere. I should really pay more attention to where I leave my stuff. Me too, girl. Me too. Oh, I can click stuff. Um. Okay, so you walk by clicking with the mouse. That's good. Death Lords. My childhood friend gave me this one. The logo's a little intense, but it makes me think of her, so I can't bring myself to throw it out. I feel that. I have pictures of friends that I've not talked to since fifth grade plastered on my wall. My dice aren't there, though. Okay. We'll look somewhere else. I want to look where they probably wouldn't be just so I can see everything. They let me have my own hot plate because I'm just that responsible. I mostly use it to brew tea. A rejection letter from our school's journal, where they said my story didn't fit the theme of the nostalgia of winter. I guess sometimes you really need to spell out the subtext of dragon werewolves. Those sound cool. Oh, here's my dice, finally. How did they get there? Man, I can't believe classes are starting again already. At least I have the Tactics Club. Today's a big moment in our campaign. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. Aw, that's so exciting. I should hurry if I'm going to get there on time. But I want to look at other stuff. You're going to be late. I'm so sorry. You're going to be late, Alicia. You're going to be so late because of me. It's a super hard to get fanzine, especially in fanfiction, where everyone works at a coffee shop and nothing bad happens to any of the characters. <laughs> Here's my bed where I do all sorts of scandalous things like reading after curfew. I used to do that. I used to read like entire like novels before bed uh and my mom got to the point where she stopped buying me books uh as a punishment because i wasn't getting enough sleep at night <laughs> when i was a kid the wintermar raven our school's mascot i hope they don't think that painting a suit on it makes it less ominous valid edgar Allan poe would just love him i don't know where i'm going science lab locked what was that okay you can't club room okay Hey guys, sorry I'm late? Where is everybody? Jacob I would expect to be late, but Colin is usually a lot more responsible than this. Maybe I should go find them? Hmm, then again, this might be the perfect time to get a little curses and catacombs practice in. Yeah, it never hurts to have a little extra practice. Oh, thank god a tutorial. Okay, I set up some dorkling enemies, like it suggests the Catacomb Monsters Guide. I'll start with my own character, the Brave Mage- I am so s- Anya? We're gonna say Anya, that's not it. <laughs> she can cast Spark, so I'll put her near those darklings that are grouped together. Okay, oh, so you can like, get all of them. Here would be the best. Left click Anya to select her. Okay, I'm left clicking. Yes, this is left click. Wait, no, let's right click. Okay, this is left click. Oh, okay, I don't know my lefts and rights. We figured it out, though. Let's put Jacob's character, Rogi, over here. He's a rogue, obviously. He can move fastest. Okay, awesome. So I can move him, like, here. Yeah. And you can fight this guy. And now he's dead. 
man. Hmm. Calm likes to fight head on with his armored paladin. Yowald. I am so sorry. All these names are gonna be pronounced so bad. That's all we can do this turn. Let's get the Darklings back. Okay. This is- okay, here's the thing, right? This is a turn-based game, which I absolutely love. I love turn-based games because it doesn't require- it requires me to think, but it doesn't require me to figure out quick time events. And that's the real issue in my life, is trying to figure out quick time events. So that's why I like games like this, and that's why I was really excited about this game. That and also it has like this D&D style kind of like campaign. I'm gonna hurt my friend though. Can I move again? No. I'm gonna fight with this guy instead. Oh no. I just said I was good at these kind of games, and now you're seeing that I'm not. But anything that doesn't require me to do quick time events, automatically good. <laughs> In my opinion. Stage complete. Yay. No players lost? Oh, uh, I want to get all six. No. Okay. This is going to be my thing with this, with this game. I am going to not be a perfectionist in this, which is very hard for me, but I'm going to not try to be a perfectionist in this so you guys can actually get gameplay instead of me just grinding out everything all the time, trying to get like the like 100% of everything because otherwise we're going to be here for a very, very long time. I think I'm getting better. That's probably enough practice for now. I'm starting to worry about Colin and Jacob. They really should have been here by now. I should probably see if I can find them. Statue play card. John Gentle Roy Wintermore, founded in Wintermore, founded Wintermore's Academy in 1901, shortly after his mysterious disappearance and presumed death by wolves. Yeah, sounds like an average day. Hello, Jacob. Finally, there you are. What are you up? Oh. Really, Jacob? Again? Oh. Hey, am I late for the club again? Sorry, I just got some serious writer's block going on here. Writer's block? For what to write on the wall? Hey, you know a thing or two about writer's block. You want to write the last word in this sentence for me? It needs to be something that really sells the concept of Wintermore's fascist authority while at the same time not acknowledging that authority. Uh, maybe I better not. Thanks, but I'd rather not get suspended. Eh, your loss. I'll think of something later. Do you think you could take a break from fighting the man for a second and come fight some Darklings and Ogres with me? Heck yeah. This is the week we finally fight that evil guy, right? He's pretty fascist, right? Maybe I can think of a good line while we're playing. Alright, bye my dude. Alright, like, here we go. Character unlocked, Rogi! I love that it's James Mo- That sounds like something I would name a D&D &D character. Just like what they are. What's this thing anyway? Some kind of instruction manual for being a nerd? It's my catacomb master manual. I doubt it would appeal to someone of your intellectual prowess. Dude, I think he just called you some sort of lady boat. May I have the manual back, please? I'm late for tactics club. Dang, he's right, Skip. We're gonna be late for practice. You got lucky this time, nerd. Can I punch him? I feel like that'd be out of character for this... This character who I'm playing. But me? Throwing hands. Throwing hands if someone talks to my friend like that. Jeez, not again. You okay? I got worried when you didn't come to club. Yeah, I'm fine. I won't let those morons get to me. I'm kind of impressed that you kept your cool. If that was me, I might have freaked out. As you should. Start throwing hands. Haymakers. All around. <laughs> oh, I want to start streaming, but I think- But I try to think of it as curses and catacombs. We'll study hard and be successful, which is like gaining experience and growing stronger. But they'll just stay the same generic low-level monsters, and we'll be able to beat them with a morning star. Uh, metaphorically. Speaking of low-level monsters... Right, today's the big showdown against Count Mag- Malgriff. Sure. Sorry, a leader should never be late. Let's go! I like Colin. His name's spelt weird. It's usually two L's, but I like him. Oh, good, you're here. Sorry we're late. Let's get back to the adventure. I'm so sorry for that voice. Enter battle. There we go, I figured it out. Okay, for the last few sessions, you've been pursuing the evil Count Mal Maldorifus. Sure who stole Anya's magical amulet. When we left off, you had finally caught up to the thieves. Let's see what happens. The wind blows throughout the trees. There is something eerie about the field where your foes have stopped. As you peer warily around you, it dawns to you why you find it so disturbing. This place looks like it used to be an ancient battlefield with cracked armor and abandoned weapons thrown amidst the grass. 
An enterprising crow picks at an old skeleton buried in the weeds. It gives a gruff caw and flies off as you disturb its rest. You're not sure why Count and his dorkling guards have stopped here, but they seem to be ready to fight. What will you do? I say the Amulet of Mara is guiding the Star of Twilight. Heed its light and it shall guide you back to the Path of Righteousness. The Darklings don't speak human kin. Oh, then I'll... I use a stick and draw a picture in the dirt of their god and our god holding hands. Darklings don't have a god. They have a warrior democracy that worship only their chosen demagogue. In this case, Count Malgrithus. The Count commands his Darklings to attack! Man, I thought I got this. I was so ready. My attacks don't do much to those Darkling Knights because of their physical armor, but I've got their attention. Thanks, that should let me hit them with my magical attacks. Uh, and then fight this one. Yeah! The Darkling Knight's armor doesn't seem to protect it from my magical attacks, right? Right. There's- It's definitely a tactical move for you to try to fry them. Okay, cool. End turn. I know you're supposed to have the Paladin as the heavy hitter. I get that. I just need to figure out how this works a little bit more. Rory deals reduced damage to enemies with physical armor. You should let Anya handle those knights. Cool. Look, I'm just here to kick some dorklings. You're you're the expert on what happens when I do. Both of them. Can I get both of them? Oh, you can! Alright, I don't know how that works. But we won! We won! Look at us! You've taken out all the guards, leaving just the Count holding his amulet. Just when it seems like you've won, suddenly. Attention all student clubs. No. Oh, what now? Please report to the auditorium for an important announcement. Attendance is mandatory for all club members. Oh man, just when it was getting good too. And oh my god, that's an ogre. Hello? Horses! That's a horse riding helmet. Um, why do we need to be here? Did someone do something wrong? Did we do something wrong? <laughs> Maybe they think we're doing devil stuff. <laughs> if you guys don't get that reference, back in the 80s when this game is set, this is going to be really nerdy, nerdy but uh, a bunch of parents thought that playing D&D was like devil worship. Um, so it was like a huge thing where like parents were avidly saying like, don't let your kids play D&D, blah, 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 blah. Which, of course, we know is not the truth now. But that's where this reference is coming from. And that's why I think it's really funny. So that's what we're going to choose. <laughs> Maybe they think we're doing devil stuff. Uh, I've explained to my mom a dozen times that this is a tactical storytelling board game and not devil stuff. That's the Sunday funny clubs over there. They into devil stuff too? Yeah, I guess if everyone's here, it's probably not about us specifically. Greetings, club-minded students. So glad to see you all upholding Wintermore's beloved tradition of student clubs and organizations. Why, they say John Gentle Roy Wintermore himself as a member of the Gentleman's Endangered Bird Shooting Association. Oh no! Good old GEBSA. Is this going somewhere? As a strong supporter of clubs and student activities on campus, I am pleased to announce a rare opportunity to prove your club's pride and in individuality. All of you will have the pleasure of competing in the mandatory school-wide snowball tournament where the winner is named the most ultimate club. Well, that sounds like a waste of time. Facts, Colin. You are so right in this conversation. <laughs> the good news is it shouldn't be too tough for us to lose as fast as humanly possible. And now I know what you're thinking. Why should I care about being the ultimate club? Well, how about this? Clubs that lose in the tournament or refuse to participate will be disbanded immediately. What? <laughs> what? What? Disbanded? You can't do this, old man. We have our rights. Unjust. Such a punishment is unthinkable. Surely you can't really mean disbanded. We just lose our club rooms or... Nope, disbanded. Kaput. As in, no more special club privileges, no more meeting with other club members, and no more practicing your hobbies with other students. My dude, are you okay? Did someone hurt you recently? Did you break up with your, like, wife that you might met on, like, some dating app? Are you okay? Do we need to talk? Do we need to start up a therapy club for you? Because we can. I'd be so down to start a therapy club for this white, old, middle-aged man. I could start a therapy club. I could be like, hey, 
need to talk, because you are just playing God with some students for some reason. But hey, there's no time to keep grumbling. The tournament will begin this afternoon. You'll be assigned your first opponent shortly. Trust me, this tournament will be fun. It's a perfect activity to find the ultimate club. My dude, are you okay? This is crazy! He- he can't do this, can he? Fascists, I'm telling you. It was only a matter of time before the school got militarized. How are you supposed to compete in a snowball tournament? Alright, this is what you do. You put ice in the center of a snowball and then you chuck it. It does count as like a war crime, probably. I don't know, but that's what I used to do as a kid. And um, I once got a one of those things hit so hard in my forehead, passed out. Don't do this, by the way. This is a joke. Um, Don't throw snowballs with ice. It's very bad for everyone involved. How are we supposed to compete in a snowball tournament? This is a disaster. We're going to lose the club. Calm down. Let's just head back to the club room and regroup. Then we'll play a little Curse and Catacombs to get our heads back on right. We've waited long enough to get back to our adventure today. Oh ho! Well, if it isn't Wintermore's most laughable club, the Make Believe Brigade. Why are you acting surprised to see us? This is our club room. You're calling us lame, aren't you? The guys who literally tried to bring back the monarchy. Oh, they all look like terrible people. Introducing the Young Monarchist. Yes, we, the young monarchists, firmly believe that monarchy is the simply most sensible form of governess. If you had read any of our pamphlets, you would all be well convinced of this. Monarchy is way too complicated for you stupid nerd brains. That's why we gotta beat you down. Uh, in the snowball tournament, I mean. We're your first opponents. Oh, how unfortunate for you, Tactics Club. Enjoy your last day in this quaint little club room. Br bring down the monarchy. We're gonna be French revolutionizing this place. They're really all in on this battle thing already, huh? Jeez, what a bunch of jerks. Ugh, yeah, they're the worst. But we can't let them distract us from what we really came here to do. There's a chance this might be our last session. Let's at least finish this battle and get Anya her magic amulet back. Even though you defeated his guards, you could see Count Maligarif grinning slyly. Fools, he cries. You have no idea what mal- why is there you- why are they using such hard words that I don't understand? Something powers lie dormant inside this amulet. Allow me to show you! The Count raises the amulet of Amara to the sky and begins to chant. I try to grab the amulet from him. Before you can reach him, the amulet suddenly clouds over. The sky dims to a sickly iron hue, and tendrils of darkness sprout unnaturally from the ground itself. You are held fast in place and cannot move! To make matters worse, the Count and his fallen minions have morphed into blood-sucking monsters. Uh-oh. Anya is stuck out in the open, totally surrounded. I don't think I can take all that damage. Well, you know, I got a grappling hook, and it turns out it's useful in this exact situation. Oh, cool. I just want to say right now, this game is so fun. I recommend this game so much. Um, if you like turn-based games, get this game. Uh, I don't- I'm not, like, sponsored. I don't even know who made this game. Like, I don't know the, like, creator of it. But yes, I really recommend this game to anyone who enjoys turn-based games already. Uh, I'm not that far into it, and I've- everything that I've played from it so far is what you've- you've seen. This is just my recommendation. If you see- like what I'm doing and what I'm playing and want to hear it without the ugly voices that I'm making, I seriously, seriously recommend this game. <gasps> Look at we got all of them! Stupendous! S tier! <laughs> Well done, adventurers. That battle was two levels above your party's recommended challenge score. So that's it, huh? The last bad guy? No, it can't end here. This club is all that I have at this school. Without you guys, I don't know where I'd fit in. You're right. I put too much effort into this club to let it die here. I have no idea how we can beat them, but we have to try. Trying isn't usually my style, but I won't let Enfield's military junta stop me from hanging out with you two guys. It's almost time for the match. Maybe we'll think of something when we see the battlefield. If they're trying to be like princes and princesses, let's be honest. They don't know how to fight. <laughs> let's be- they don't know how to fight. It's that simple. All you have to do is like fake throwing a punch and they will start crying. Prepare for defeat. We are all well versed in how warfare shapes history. Our club has a clear advantage when it comes to combat. Yeah, and we're bigger than you. Okay, I was trying to figure out what this guy looks like. You remember that professor 
from Victorious, like Psychowitz, I think his name was. That's the vibe this man is giving me. He even has the peace symbol and the sweater vest. Okay, I figured it out. What a perfect day for our first snowball battle. I am not keeping the same voice for any of these characters and I am so sorry. Any questions before we begin? Uh, what's the real reason for the snowball tournament? Was it a budget cut? Does the school board want you to prepare us for war? Let's rap about reasons. My reason is that I want you to see your reasons. About the reasons why you'd fight for your club. After all, the ultimate club is the club that wants to succeed the most. So just express yourself and your love for the club and you'll do fine. I know you're just dying to get started, but first let me lay down some rules. Since this tournament is about positive vibes and togetherness, you won't actually be killing each other. Well, I'm glad. I don't want any parents complaining to the school board that their children were slain in a gladiatorial combat. Is that the only reason you don't want us to, uh, fight each other? Like, kill each other? Is because the parents might be bad? Like, there's no, like, ethics of, like, maybe I shouldn't have kids fight each other to the death. You're just kind of like, oh, yeah. Uh, I just don't want the parents to, like, have a lawsuit against me. Because I'm just quirky like that. Like, oh my god. My dude, are you okay? Now let's have a safe and courteous battle. Oh, the- Oh, he's got a cannon! Oh, look at the little mushroom lad! This is a tough battle, but we face tougher. You just get him. Just instantly. He's gone. Goodbye. Down with the monarchy. Are you just kicking people? Anarchy rules! Oh, Alicia, my rival in love, I shall best you in the battle of dance and prove I am the true jewel of Versailles. Could you just say normal words, please? I can't read. <laughs> Wait, are rivals in what? How many times do I have to tell you, Genevieve? Monarchy is about politics, not time travel. Preposterous, how could the fantasy Adelaidebouts defeat us? Alicia, your idea totally worked. Wow, tough break, young monarchist. I guess you're just not the ultimate club we are looking for. You'll have to go back to enduring capitalism like the rest of us. No, but my beautiful period costumes. Guess you just have to find nobility in that good old black and blue. The school colors on your uniforms, I mean, not the savage beating just built, dealt to you by the tactics club. The hurt will pay, fade in time when you find a sanctioned non-monarch student activity to fill your hearts. Tactics club, you know I'm no fan of violence. Uh, I don't believe that, but I'm impressed by that performance. I guess I should have expected some viciousness from a club focused on tactical warfare, eh? You're not gonna take tactics club away. We'll find a way out of this. Now that's true dedication I'm looking for. See you tomorrow, and you'll get your next opponent bright and early. That... that didn't feel nearly as good as I thought it would. Just like that, their club is disbanded? It was us or them, Alicia. And we were victorious. Come on, we did it. Let's celebrate. Thanks, but you guys can go celebrate. I... I think I'm just gonna go crash for the night. Later. Chapter complete! Huh? Oh, I'm in the classroom building. Oh, that's right. I was going to tactics club. How dare you? You destroyed our dreams, our hope to make a difference in this world. And for what? Just you could play some silly little game. It's not silly. That game means a lot to us. It's the reason we all became friends. Right, guys? Guys? Colin? Jacob? Where... where are you? You can't defend your actions without your pathetic little friends. This is why everyone hates you. That's right, everyone here is just waiting for the tactics club to fail. Good luck in the tournament, loser. You better watch your back. No, I didn't... I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Save your game? Yes. Okay, with that, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I hope you guys liked watching. Um, this is actually a really fun game. I do want to do more videos on it. Uh, there are seven chapters, so I'll probably do seven episodes of this. Uh, one episode, one video for each chapter. Uh, if you liked it, drop a like in the comments. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. And I want you to know, I may be a disappointed frog, but I'm not disappointed in you. Bye bye. <laughs>